So you don't have a problem about divorce for yourself in that sense? Absolutely not. I, I have no problem at all with getting myself out of a situation that I know is, is going to be destructive. And if that means having an abortion, great. If it means having a divorce, great. You know, you've got to be responsible. As far as I'm concerned, responsibility is to... You have a responsibility to make sure if you are going to bring a child into the world that it's going to be loved that by everyone it experiences, that you do your utmost to make sure that that child is never traumatized in any way, which, it, you know, it will be if it's not wanted by one or other parent. You know, you have a responsibility to yourself to get yourself out of situations that you know are destructive to you. It's just a case of realizing that it's your life, you're driving the car, you know what I mean? Nobody else is. You know, nobody's going to be on your deathbed with you. You know what I mean? There's been a lot of publicity, a lot of coverage in the media about you and your private life, particularly in terms of your attitude to abortion. Can you tell me about that? Um, yeah. Um, I've had two abortions. Um, it's a very difficult, it's a very difficult subject. It's not, um, I wouldn't feel the concerns of the church would not enter into anything that I decided to do as far as either going ahead and having a child or not having a child is concerned. How do you view their concerns first? Well, I, you know, I just don't believe what they believe. What I believe is that what they believe is that um, uh, that it's murder, that it's murdering a baby, uh, you know, to to have an abortion. As far as I'm concerned, it's 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 murder to have a child that you don't want, to have a child that you cannot make happy. How many children have been born in this country? The, 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 per, the statistics for child abuse in this country are horrendous. This country is one of the highest statistics or percentages of child abuse in Europe. You know? um, so as far as I'm concerned, it's, that's, that's enough proof of the fact that people need to be allowed to have abortions. There's no point in having children that you don't want. You are murdering them by doing that because you're just sit, they're just sitting there, they're being neglected, they're being abused, they're being treated like shit, they're being put into care, they're being given away. It's a terrible thing for a woman to have to have a child and then give it away, you know what I mean? I don't think it's right to be irresponsible, um, and I've been irresponsible as far as not using contraception and things like that is concerned. I don't think it's right that you can't go around just kind of having abortions left, right and centre. But you, you equally, you cannot have a child, you must not bring a child into the world that you cannot make happy, that you don't know is going to be a, a happy person and know that it's loved. Not even, okay, it might not be a happy person, but one that you can't give yourself to, give your love to, and, and have its father give his love to it too. Yeah. You know? But you have an image of being very loving and very loving with children. Oh, yeah, I am. But okay, in, the, in these two instances, and the first time uh, was last year and I got pregnant and the pregnancy was a planned pregnancy. I was very much in love with the father of the child. I was mad about him. It's the only time that I've ever really been in, in love, you know, in my life. Um, so I was delighted to be pregnant and he was delighted as well. But the fact was that things couldn't work out because uh, the father of my child was doing a lot of drugs and things like that, which I didn't know about. Um, and I was also a very unhappy person who had been abused severely when he was a kid, um, whose, whose parents hadn't particularly given a shit about him, you know, and, and he wasn't able to cope with the idea of it. Um, and I didn't feel that he could cope with being a father, so I had the choice to either go ahead and have the child, knowing that his father didn't really care and wasn't capable of caring about either me or the child because he was so unhappy himself, uh, or not having the child, and I felt that it would have been irresponsible as far as I'm concerned for me to have the child. Um, I'd much rather have a child with somebody that's going to be around, you know, like John yeah. is for Jake, you know, even if I'm not going out with them or stuff like that, I'd much rather do that. Do you have a resistance to the idea of contraception? No, I don't. I've just been irresponsible about it. No, I don't have any resistance to it at all, at all. It's just, uh, you know, it's going to get caught up in the moment, you know. But then, um, <clears throat> the second time that I had an abortion was uh, last week, like I was telling you, I had an abortion last Tuesday um, in a situation where I, I started to uh, go out with a man who's very much older than me, who's like 44 years of age, who I, I wasn't in love with by any means, but I fancied him and I liked him kind of thing. And I went out with him and slept with him uh, about three times and got pregnant. I thought it was safe, kind of, I thought I was getting my period soon so I wouldn't get pregnant, I found myself pregnant. No, I was quite happy. I didn't really, you know, I found myself pregnant. There's no reason why I shouldn't have a kid. I have enough money to look after. I have somebody to help me. I assumed 
that he'd be around and he'd be, you know, a father to the child and all that stuff. Then I discover he's a wife in Devon. So I had to have an abortion. You know what I mean? There's, um, what the hell am I going to have that baby for? Even though I was really happy about it, and supposedly he was. He's looking me straight in the face, telling me how much he loves me and how happy he is, and it's all a complete lie. That's a huge thing. sense of loss. No, it isn't. God, no, it isn't. I'm delighted. I mean, I could have got sucked in. How many girls are in that situation now, some married man, telling them complete lies? Alternatively, if I had wanted a permanent relationship with him, which I didn't, he probably would have dumped her and the kid that they have already, you know what I mean? Mm. It's like, this guy is a jerk. I'm not going to have his baby, why should I? I don't want him in my life, and I'm not going to have a child whose father isn't going to be in its life, and I don't want him in my life. So, you know, I'm, not, I'm, far, I'm far better off out of that situation. I feel so happy. It's done me so much good. Ireland is in, its, is in a kind of area of its own in that case. Definitely, definitely you know, treating people as if they look at Anne Lovett, you know? Like why couldn't Anne Lovett have an abortion? You know, a fourteen year old girl trying to have a baby. What a joke. I mean her body probably you know, a fourteen year old girl's body isn't even formed enough to give birth to a child. How can a fourteen year old girl be any kind of a mother to a child? You know, what kind of life will she have? And if she has the child and gives it away, what kind of life will she have? Every time she sees a child for the rest of her life she'll be in agony. You know, agony. How many people have kids that they don't give a shit about? You know, and the